Today we're speaking with Dr. Timothy Rebick, Associate Director of Population Science at the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania. And of course, he's Editor-in-Chief of the AACR Journal, Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. What are some of the trends that you see in cancer health disparities? I think one of the most interesting trends is the new development of transdisciplinary science bringing together individuals from different backgrounds to study the complex problem of health disparities. In particular, a lot of people are now uh, who have been uh, doing basic science research and have backgrounds in biomarker research or genetics are starting to ask questions about the complex causes of health disparities and to start using that information to eliminate health disparities by identifying high-risk groups or specific subsets of populations that might be uh, uh, causing the disparity or the responsible for the part of a disparity uh, in a racial group or an age group or some other segment of the population. It's been an exciting development in the field because pr uh, previously a lot of the research that's been done in health disparities has been very siloed where some individuals are working in their discipline and don't talk to other individuals. And we recognize that cancer health disparities is an extremely complex uh, phenomenon and is likely to be uh, explained by not only sociological uh, events but also biological events uh, and uh, access to care and all sorts of things that are not usually brought together in one research setting. What, are, uh, what is the latest breakthrough in our understanding of the genetic differences among races and how they impact the disparities we see in sociological research? Well, historically there has been a lot of uh, uh, differences and lack of communication between individuals who study the sociological causes of health disparities and those that might be interested in understanding the biological causes. And more recently, we've been able to start getting those groups to talk together uh, to think about how biological differences might influence uh, fa basic susceptibilities or propensities uh, to disease that may be correlated with sociological uh, events. And so it's been a, a very interesting development to have sociologists, and basic biologists, epidemiologists, biostatisticians come together uh, and to begin to hash out the complexity of these problems. Uh, right now, the, a lot of the work in genetics has been uh, go, geared toward having um, uh, understanding better race and ethnicity and uh, differences in populations uh, on a very basic level. And historically, this has been something that other fields, sociology, for example, has not appreciated or not felt was important because it was uh, thought to be something that would be taking away from the, the uh, very important problems of healthcare access or discrimination or segregation, which are also real problems. But now we're beginning to understand that genetics can inform some of these areas. Uh, so this work is very new and hasn't gotten very far yet, in ter and particularly in terms of the integration between these disciplines. But it's starting and it's a very exciting area for us to pursue. What role will the journal Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention play in collecting and disseminating cancer disparities research? Well, CEBP has been extremely active in trying to develop uh, health disparities uh, publications and uh, promoting the health disparities field. In the past couple of years, we've started a new uh, uh, section to the journal called Cancer Health Disparities. We have an editor specifically dedicated to cancer health disparities publications, and we encourage authors uh, to submit their research to CEBP in the area of cancer health disparities. There haven't been in the uh, literature in general and uh, very many venues in which cancer health disparities work can be published, and particularly work that is potentially multidisciplinary, bringing together lots of different uh, uh, methodologies and approaches. And so we really like CEBP to be the place that people think of when they have a, an interesting approach to dis dealing with a cancer health disparity on any level. Dr. Rebick, thank you very much. Thank you.